Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down CPHU exam prep, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is Performance Improvement, PI, in Healthcare. Performance Improvement, PI, in Healthcare Introduction In an ever-evolving healthcare landscape, Performance Improvement, PI, plays a crucial role in ensuring that care providers and organizations deliver the best possible outcomes for their patients. It's a systematic approach that, when properly executed, can greatly enhance the quality of care and operational efficiency. Definition Performance Improvement, PI, refers to the proactive endeavor of continuously analyzing, evaluating, and amending processes or systems to optimize desired outcomes. It revolves around the principle of iterative enhancement, where each cycle of improvement builds upon the previous one. Scope in healthcare. PI isn't limited to just clinical outcomes. It extends to all facets of healthcare, be it administrative, technological, or operational. 1. Clinical processes. This might include reducing hospital-acquired infections, improving surgical outcomes, or decreasing patient wait times for critical treatments. 2. Non-clinical processes, areas like billing, patient scheduling, electronic health record, EHR, system efficiency, and supply chain management can benefit from PI. Key components of PI The typical PI cycle in healthcare comprises the following steps. 1. Identification The first step is to identify areas or processes that require improvement. This can be done through methods such as data analysis, patient feedback, staff input, or external audits. 2. Setting goals. Once a challenge is identified, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, goals should be set. For instance, if a hospital identifies high readmission rates for heart failure patients, a goal might be to reduce readmissions by 10% over the next six months. 3. Implementation. This involves putting into action interventions designed to meet the set goals. Using the previous example, the hospital might introduce a new post-discharge follow-up procedure or offer more comprehensive patient education on heart failure management. 4. Reassessment After implementing changes, it's essential to measure the outcomes. If the desired improvements aren't observed, the process needs refining. If the goals are achieved, processes should be put in place to maintain those improvements. 5. Sustainability. This involves ensuring that improvements are not just short-term gains. Continuous monitoring, training, and adaptation are needed to ensure that enhancements remain effective over time. Benefits in healthcare. 1. Enhanced patient outcomes. At its core, PI aims to provide better patient care. Improved processes can lead to quicker recoveries, fewer complications, and better overall patient experiences. 2. Operational efficiency. Streamlined processes can lead to cost savings, reduced waste, and better utilization of resources. 3. Increased staff satisfaction. When processes are optimized, healthcare staff often find their jobs more rewarding and less stressful. 4. Regulatory compliance. Many regulatory bodies require continuous PI as a part of accreditation. Regular PI efforts can help healthcare organizations stay compliant with industry standards. Conclusion Performance improvement is pivotal in healthcare, where the stakes are high and the margin for error is small. Through continuous efforts in PI, healthcare institutions can ensure they deliver the highest quality of care to their patients while optimizing their operational processes.